it's here. After four months, the latest addition to my crypto mining farm is here, my new Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro Plus 120 terahash. Boy, that's a mouthful. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. What have we got here? All right, some kind of generic thank you instructions. Lots of packing material. Oh, let's take that out. Packaging is looking a little ripped up, but I'm sure it'll still work good. Apart from the ripped up bag, it seems to be pretty well packed. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. This S19 is like the others. It identifies itself here on a label as the uh, S19J Pro Plus 120 terabyte unit. It has usual ethernet and uh, fault and normal lights. It has the standard C13, C14 dual plugs for powering it. And we'll have a quick look around it and we can see it's uh, like a normal S19 in all other regards. I'm going to be installing this into my grow tent. I've got a uh, 32 amp APC PDU and we'll patch it into that. And I've got an 8 port Meraki switch which I've already patched the ethernet cord into. I've just sorted through my cables and I found a pair of these cables a couple of meters long so I'll just get these cables patched in and we'll get it powered up. Okay I've put this ASIC on top of the existing one I had and I've threaded through the uh, power cables through the inlet through the back of the grow tent and I've plugged in the networking. All right, let's jump over to the computer. I've used outlets 13 and 14 on my APC PTU, so I've jumped in and updated the labels there, which makes, uh, this is a switched PTU, so I can turn on or off the outlets, and that makes it very easy to remotely control. I jumped over to my DHCP server on my router and looked up the IP address allocated to the new Antminer, and it's online. And now we'll just go through and set it up. I'm just gonna copy the settings from my existing one. So I found NiceHash to be the most profitable, so I use NiceHash as my my primary mining destination and just in case nice hash ever goes down I use CK pool solo pool which would be just pure gambling but who knows and uh, I don't know if I'm going to operate both of my units in normal mode so I'll probably use low power mode to make them operate their most power efficient under IP settings I've updated the name to be correctly spelled so I name the unit and that's how it'll appear on the network all right, now we just got to wait for it to come online and make sure it reports everything is okay. The mine has been running maybe five minutes and I can see the hashing is now starting to kick in. I've got all green normal statuses and all three hash boards are now showing hash rate, so that's a good sign. Uh, the next thing I want to check is just make sure the firmware is up to date on this unit. It's currently reporting, it's got a release from March the 11th. Okay, on Bitmain support website, I've gone and looked under S19J Pro Plus. And I see there's a release here dated the 11th of April, which is a month newer. So let's download and install that. All right, I've just selected that image, told it to keep the same settings. Let's update it, cross our fingers, and I'll come back once that's all finished. Well, that didn't go how I hoped. So I did have a release dated 11th of March, but now I have an older release dated February 15th. So I guess take care, don't trust the dates and file names published on Bitmain's firmware site. The ASIC's been running for an hour, an hour and a half now, and it's stabilized out around 93, 94 terahash a second. Uh, this is in low power mode. Temperatures are all looking pretty comfortable, getting up to uh, 70 degrees on the outlet temperature. I did try running the ASICs in full power mode for a while, but uh, I just redlined all the power, so I uh, yeah, change it back down to low power mode. If I shut down my GPUs and only used ASICs, then I would actually be able to run in full power mode uh, or normal mode. I have to have a bit of a think about that, whether the GPUs are worth continuing to run or whether I should just and put that energy purely into Bitcoin generation. The uh, AC Infinity fan was running at around, had an exhaust temperature of around 40 degrees. So I bumped up the airflow a little bit. So now with two A6 rather than one, it's now keeping the temperature a little bit cooler at 38 degrees Celsius. The temperature inside the tent, but near the inlets is currently sitting around 28 degrees Celsius. My whole home is currently generating 6.45 kilowatts of load and solar is producing about three kilowatts of power. So one of those A6s is running for free. I hope that unboxing of my new 120 terahash bitmain unit was of interest. I'm gonna leave some other videos around my head and hopefully some of those will be interesting too.